Hey guys, Swans Away Days here, back again for another video on the channel. And this one today then, another Welsh player has left through the door at Swansea City. It's a permanent deal as Swansea City right back Connor Roberts has left the club to join Premier League side Burnley. The 25-year-old is a full Welsh international, then he's already made 30 appearances for Wales, scoring two goals, also scoring the Euro 2020 against Turkey. For Swansea City then, he made 152 appearances for the first team in all competitions, scoring 11 goals and 12 assists. So, you know, you can't discredit Connor Roberts, that's a very good record for a right back slash right wing back and like I said he's made 30 caps for Wales which shows how good of a player he is he has signed a four year deal at Burnley so I do expect him to be at Burnley for a few seasons and maybe a few more if he signs another contract apparently the reported fee is between 2 and £3 million pounds of add-ons we did reject a £1.5 million bid from Burnley yesterday so I do assume it's between that 2 to £3 million region which isn't too bad considering he's only got one year left in his contract and you know Burnley could have signed him essentially for free in January on a pre-contract agreement so yeah it's disappointing to lose Conor Roberts but you know I'm going to cause a bit of a row here I've said this on Instagram I've said on Twitter I said my match reviews watch longs previews whatever I don't think Conor Roberts is that good I honestly don't think he is as good as Swan City fans make out defensively he is pretty poor he's not even better than Carl Norton defensively for me I've said this Carl Norton's a better defender for me than Conor Roberts I'd rather have Carl Norton a right back than Conor Roberts I'll explain why Conor Roberts simply cannot defend crosses as soon as a cross comes into the box, he stands like a statue. So, you know, Burnley fans, you could think, I'm sorry, I'm not. I, I generally don't care that he's left the club. You know, when the ball comes in the box, don't expect Conor Roberts to win a header. Because 99.5 times out of 100, he'll just stand there and, you know, a player will come over the top of him and score a header. We've seen it so many times. Tom Lawrence did it uh, last season, so many other times. And also... He does like to give a penalty away, Conor Roberts. Sometimes he does have a bit of a lapse of concentration. You know, Burn, uh, Blackburn away, sorry, not Burnley, Blackburn away, he did it. Fulham away, give away a penalty. You know, he's given away a lot of penalties at his time at Swan City. So, yeah, I really don't care that he's left the club, to be honest. I think his attitude stinks. I just think for a 25-year-old, he's, he's a fully grown man. And some of the things he was doing in training last season under Steve Cooper was just simply childish. I'm not going to say what it is because I, I'm not allowed to say what it is, to be honest. But, yeah, you know, I shouldn't even be telling you that. But some of the stuff Conor Roberts was doing last season when Norton was picked over Roberts was just childish. And that's why he was getting in the side, to be honest, because he wasn't that good. But, yeah, best luck to Conor Roberts at Burnley then. Uh, do I hope he does well? No. I hope he has a shit career, to be honest. Hopefully he does well for Wales. But, yeah, I, I, I just couldn't care less about Conor Roberts, to be honest. I just think he's a very stubborn man, a very poor attitude, and a player who does care, but he just doesn't have the professionalism for me to, you know, really succeed in his career and go far. So, yeah, good luck to Conor Roberts. I don't think he'll do well. I know a lot of people disagree with me, and that's, you know, the joy of, you know, having a football opinion. In my opinion, he's not better than Carl Norton. He's got a stinking attitude. And last season, you know, he was not even that good. I think he got player of the year. God knows how that, because there was a lot better players. Matt Grimes, Andre, who... Um, there was a lot of other players. Freddie Woodman could have had it, for example. You know, he had a better season than Conor Ops last year. But yeah, going forward, Conor Ops is fantastic. I will give him that. But defensively, he's got his question marks. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Let me know down below what would you rank this move from 1 to 10 about Conor Roberts moving to Burnley. There's probably going to be a lot of dislikes in this video. I don't care. As you can tell, I'm very passionate about this. I'm just not a fan of Conor Roberts. And in my opinion, he's a decent player. But I just think Carl Norton is better than him. And, you know, I just think, you know, he's got a lot of question marks about his defensive abilities. Thanks for watching, guys. Best luck, Conor Roberts, at Burnley. Burnley fans, let me know if you're excited with this signing. Sun City fans, let me know what you think of this signing. And will we get some players in with this money? Hopefully, we can get a striker or two. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next transfer video. I feel